Effective diameter of a screw thread is an important term. In fact, each screw thread is specified by its effective diameter. It decides the quality of fit between the screw and a nut. Now what is an effective diameter? It is the diameter of pitch cylinder which is coaxial with the axis of screw and intersects the flanks in such a way as to make the widths of threads and widths of spaces between them equal. So I have drawn one cylinder, imaginary cylinder with same axis with diameter, effective diameter. If you place this cylinder here, then it will cut these flanks in such a way that widths of threads, that is this distance should be equal to this distance. This is what I have shown here. You can see this distance must be equal to this distance. Then this diameter is effective diameter. Now this diameter cannot be determined directly. We use indirect method. So there are three methods. One is one wire method, two wire method and three wire method. In this video, we will discuss two wire method to measure effective diameter. In any of these three methods, we use hardened steel wires which are available in sets of three wires each with standard diameters. Now in this two wire method, first we have to place two wires of identical diameter on opposite flanks of the screw. We will put two wires of identical diameters on two opposite flanks. Now then measure M using a suitable micrometer. Use micrometer. These two are micrometer anvils. So these two distances you will measure using micrometer. This distance is M. So once you get this M and we assume that pitch is also known. Pitch of this thread is also known. So from these two data, this measured value of M and available value of pitch from the, these two values, you can determine effective diameter of this screw thread. Now, how can we calculate this effective diameter? using this relation. Effective diameter is equal to T plus P where T is distance under the wire. This is the diameter under the wire. So under the wire I have drawn one line, under the wire I have drawn another, another line. So this distance is T. This T can be obtained from M, this M minus diameter of this wire minus diameter of this wire. So T is equal to M minus 2D where D is the diameter of these two wires. Now P is the correction factor. This correction factor is this distance from this line to this, this distance here plus this distance here. So these two are equal distances. So these distances, some of these two distances is represented here as P and this can be determined using a relation D minus P by 2 tan theta where D is the diameter of these wires, P is the pitch of this screw thread and theta is half the angle of angle between these two flanks. Similarly D diameter, this diameter is calculated using this relation pitch by 2, this is P is P by 2 sec theta, again P is pitch and theta is ang half the angle of half the angle between the flanks. For metric thread, we know that this flank angles are 60 degree. Therefore, theta will be half of that. That means 30 degree. So if you put value of 30 degree here, set theta, then you will get value of D as 0.5773 P. And if you put the value of this D here and theta 30 degree, and if you solve this, you will get value of P as 0.2887 P. Therefore, for metric thread, you will use diameter equal to this one, pitch is already known and correction factor P is equal to 0.2887P. Now, how did we get these two equations? This is what we are going to discuss next. In this two wire method, we use the best size wires. Now, what is the best size wire? Now, best size wire is one which touches the flanks at pitch line. So you can see this is a wire, this is a best size wire and it touches the flanks, it, it touches the flanks in these two points and these two points are on the pitch line. So in these two points must be in this line. If diameter is more than the best size wire, then this point will be somewhere here above the pitch line. If this wire diameter is less than the best size wire diameter, then these two points, that means this wire will touch the, uh, the flanks somewhere here which is less than the below the pitch line. So exactly at pitch line it should touch. 
so in that case this distance we know that what is a pitch pitch is the distance between two corresponding points on adjacent threads so you can see this is one point on this thread and this is adjacent point uh, this is another point on uh, this adjacent thread so this total distance is equal to pitch and already we have discussed that this pitch line is dividing this flanks that means these two distances are equal therefore these two distances are are equal to half the pitch so p by 2 and p by 2 these are the two distances uh, which are equal distances and this circle this wire is in uh, is touching these flanks at these two points now we will discuss how to get diameter of this wire so this is the wire now enlarged we here i have drawn this wire now this point is this point is b here this point is b here and this point this contact point is c here so i have drawn one line joining b to c o is the o is the center of this wire and i have drawn one vertical line here which is intersecting here at this point this point i have i am showing this as a now diameter is ob diameter is 2 into ob this ob is radius so twice the ob is your diameter so d is equal to 2 into ob now this ob can be determined using this triangle so let us take this triangle oab so from this triangle oab in this triangle oab cos theta is equal to cos theta is adjacent divided by hypotenuse so adjacent is ab hypotenuse is ob so you need ob and ab we know this length we can determine uh, actually we know this length ab so cos theta uh, so therefore ob is equal to ab divided by cos theta or you can write ab sec theta now what is ab ab you can see that this distance that means c to b is the p by 2 this distance distance is pitch by 2 c to b now ca and ab are equal and therefore ab should be p by 4 so ab i have written here p by 4 sec theta so ob is p by 4 sec theta therefore diameter best size wire diameter is d into p by 4 sec theta so twice p by 4 sec theta so you can say that this term is 2 uh, 2 divided by 4 so this is p by 2 sec theta this is what you are getting equation of diameter of best size wire now in case of metric thread this theta value of theta is 30 degree as i have already told that means this total angle is 60 degrees so this half this angle this angle theta is uh, 30 degree and therefore when you put this value of theta here you will get d as 0 0.5773 into p so this is how we get diameter of best size wire uh, from this we calculate d and after calculating d we take those two wires from the set available with us now next is how to calculate this p for that t is dimension under the wire this is the dimension under the wire which is which can be calculated and p is correction factor so dimension under the wire is m minus 2d d already we have calculated m already determined using micrometer now d is calculated best size wire diameter now p is 2 into ad now here you i have already told this distance is what we have to we have to take this distance plus this distance so these two distances are, are equal so p is equal to 2 into this distance now what is this distance here you can see a to d is the distance which we need here now a to d can be calculated from the relation od od is radius of this best size wire that means d by 2 this d already calculated so od we know d by 2 and from od you have to subtract oa then you will get ad and what is OA? You can get OA from this again from this right angle triangle. In the right angle triangle, this angle is theta. So in this right angle triangle, you can see that OA is equal to. So you can write tan theta is equal to OA divided by AB. So tan theta is equal to OA divided by AB. So you can write sin theta also. Sin theta, if you take sin theta, then it will be OA divided by OB. Now OB is radius, so that is already known. So you can use that relation also. I have used tan theta is equal to OA by AB. Now AB, we have already uh, discussed. This AB is uh, P, by, P by 4, pitch divided by 4. 
So OA is equal to from this you will get OA is equal to AB tan theta. So AB is pitch by 4, P by 4 tan theta. Now AD is equal to so you will get AD is equal to OD minus OA. So OD minus OA. OD is diameter by 2. So radius of this circle or radius of this wire. So OD minus OA. D by 2 minus OA. So you will get AD is equal to D by 2 minus P by 4 tan theta. So P this correction factor. Correction factor P is equal to 2 into AD. Now this AD twice the AD because here and here both side you have to take this correction factor. So it is equal to 2 into AD. So from that you are getting when you multiply here throughout 2 then you are getting D minus P by 2 tan theta. So this is the relation for correction factor. Now in case of um, in case of metric thread we already discussed this theta is 30 degree and D already we have calculated. So if you put this value of D and theta you will get correction factor as 0.2887 P. So only thing you need is this value of M and this value of pitch. So we uh, assume that uh, pitch of this thread is known and then we put these two cylinders and then Cal after calculating value of M, you can determine effective diameter of screw thread. Again, I have repeating the same step. Place two wires of identical diameter. Now this diameter is calculated using this relation. From this relation, you will get diameter. Choose that diameter of wire and put two wires on both sides and then measure M using a suitable micrometer and then calculate D as P plus P where T is equal to M minus 2D and P is equal to D minus P by 2 tan theta. For metric thread, these two values are equal to D. This is the value of D and this is the value of P. In this way, you can determine effective diameter of a screw thread using two wire method. I have missed one point here. I mentioned that this angle theta is half the flank angle. But how is this theta is half the flank angle? Actually, you can see that this theta is angle between OB and AB. Now, OB is perpendicular to this flank, this side of the flank, and AB is perpendicular to OE. Therefore, whatever angle is AB and BO is making, the same angle will be made between AE and this flank. That means this angle must also be theta because two perpendiculars make same angles as their original lines. Therefore, this angle is half the flank angle and therefore this theta is half the flank angle. Thank you once again.